Hello, hello, my friends. Here I am. How are you today? Well, you can see me, but barely. This is a new setup, so let's see. Well, hold on a minute. <sighs> Better? Hello, hello. Vegan Mama Me here. I sure hope I have enough light. Because it would be terrible if I didn't. So, we're going to start out with what I have to eat. Okay. Here. You see this, guys? I don't want to bend too far because... I don't want my bean juice to drip. You got that, right? Okay, so that's Spanish beans and Spanish rice. And then I have um, vegetables. And I forgot my piece of bread. One minute. One minute. I said to myself, I know I have everything here before I sit down. And guess what? I didn't. Anyway, you know what this is. My pita bread. So let me tell you my story. You know, before I even do that, let me show you. This is my soda I'm going to drink, Zevia. And this is a different one today. This is Coke. Before, I had a cherry Coke. Which I really wasn't a fan of. So. See, with their, their drinks, they have clear. It's clear because they put no color, non-GMO, verified. No caramel color, no sugar, no artificial sweeteners. It's zero calories. So it's all good. Somebody give it a try. Let me try first. How about this? I'm going to shovel this in. Anyway, let me try this. good a little salty mmm okay mm -hmm. it's very good I didn't know if I was going to need hot sauce but I do and you know my hot sauce Valentina okay so, we're going to try this setup out. This is different. Um, see how it goes here. So, I will taste my soda. I don't taste Coke. <laughs> A little bit. A little bit I can taste Coke. Well, so anyway, here's what happened. 
We have a Spanish restaurant and feel it's very salty. I'm not used to sodium. That's why I, most of the time I just like to eat my own food. Mmm. Really good though. <clears throat> anyway. Let me give you guys a taste. Wouldn't be fair, wouldn't be right if I didn't. So, I know you'll share with me. There you go. Go on, guys. Take a big bite. How is it? I know, it's good, right? Absolutely. So here's the deal. I go into the Spanish, well, first I go to a Spanish store. And right next door to the Spanish store is a new restaurant. Mm, not new, but newer. So, I've been really wanting to try this new restaurant. So I said to the girl in the Spanish store, how's the new restaurant? She said, excellent. Oh, good. And she spoke pretty good English. Spanish girl. So I said, Good. She said, You gone over and ordering? Yeah. Okay. So and she said, Oh, yeah, we own that too over there. Oh. Even better because I know the store is pretty decent. So, I go in, me and my boy, and his girlfriend, and we were just getting something to go so I could do my mukbang. So, as soon as I get in there, a gentleman approaches me right away. And he said, oh, you were just over to the store, right? Yes. I spoke perfect English. And you're going to order something, yes? Okay. So he tells me, this, 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 real fast, that's good. I went to ask him about vegan. To ask him what he had vegan, what he didn't. Gone, that quick. Okay. Looked like a very nice restaurant. A lot of nice baked goods on display. Arpanadas. So, no idea what I can order. I don't speak Spanish. My boy doesn't speak Spanish. So I said, go up to the girl at the register.
What can I order vegan? Vegan? She says. Yeah. You know. No meat. No cheese. No dairy. She says to me. Oh, a bagel? No, no bagel. <laughs> so she didn't understand me. So I said, oh, you don't speak English? Ah, uh, no, no speak English. No understand, okay. No comprende. Anybody here speak English? Nobody speak English. Now it's a guessing game. So, I'm trying to get, they didn't have anything on the menu of eating. So, now I want to substitute things, right? I want to maybe get an empanada made and have just beans and cheese, not beans and potatoes. Mm. I was all excited about going and doing this. So, another girl came up to the register. Register. So she acts like she speaks some English. Oh, okay. I said, I'd like to have. I'm vegan and I don't want no cheese, no meat, no dairy, oh, vegetables. Yes, vegetables, rice with no meat, beans, you know, things like that. I said, but I wanna have it made up myself. Custom make it and have it made. I said, I'll oh, wait, no problem. So, long story short, we came to the conclusion of they were going to Now, you just seen the vegetables I showed you, right? I want you to remember the size of my vegetables, the portion. Cooked nice. Very al dente. Let me stop a minute so I can finish the story and tell you what happened anyway. So, <clears throat> I said, vegetables, beans, rice, I said, epinata, epinata. I said, I'd like to have all those things in, you know, my epinado. Okay, oh yeah, 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 no problem, no problem. And then my kids that were with me, they ordered what they were having. So we were all good. So I waited a very long time. So I figure it's gone pretty good. I get my order, I go to the car.
This was my epinata. Just vegetables. This was my rice and my beans that were supposed to be in the epinata. So definitely a a barrier between us, a language barrier. I was so looking forward to the Spanish food. Well, The only thing I was really disappointed, this is all fine, but these vegetables, they charged me $12. That's really unfair. And my boy's girlfriend said, take them back in. I wouldn't pay that kind of money. Uh -huh. No, I'm not going to do it. Heck with it. Just let it go. You live and you learn. If you don't know what to order, nobody speaks English. Probably a bad idea. I should have came back another time. But. I drove a distance to get there. We were all, all really looking forward to this. Theirs were easy, my kids. They got up and not us. One day would charge me twelve dollars for vegetables, and I paid separate for all this. I don't get it. The beans weren't, you know. I got a container of beans for four dollars. The rice cost me five dollars, so not bad. But very disappointed about, you know, the vegetables and stuff. I was trying to figure out how to come home and put this together so, you know, I could make it look like something. But I said, the heck with it, I'm gonna eat it the way it is. Beans and rice, a good thing. That's my story. If anybody's vegan out there and they know how to order, please let me know. Whenever you go in and there's a language barrier, it's always very difficult, you know? Not disappointed with the taste of things, though. So. I'm sure they were good.
even if there's any desserts that are Spanish, they had like a whole bakery. But I couldn't order if I didn't know. Next time, after I find someone to help me, I love beans. I can eat. Sorry. I can eat just beans. <clears throat> Bean sandwich, anything you want to give me, I'll eat it. Bean wise. <laughs> How about you guys? You like beans? It's like either you do or you don't, you know? A lot of people don't. I remember as a kid, kid taking a can of baked beans, putting mayonnaise on bread, and making a, a bean sandwich. I loved that. Thought it was the best. In the Spanish store, I got a passion fruit, and it was about this big. And I said to, you know, they hardly speak English. I said to the guy, how much? And he said, $7.99 pound. Oh, good. So this is light. Big, bigger side, but light. I got up to the register. It was $8. I got it anyway. I hope it's good. I like passion fruit. So that's it for me, guys. Subscribe, like, comment, 